This movie is an introduction to the science and engineering practices and the cross-cutting concepts of the Next Generation Science Standards, or the NGSS. I will introduce you to some of the terminology we will be using this year in the context of the NGSS. Scientists engage in many practices to understand the world around them. We will refer to these practices as science and engineering practices. One of the practices that we're going to focus on today is asking questions. That seems simple, doesn't it? But scientists figure things out because they ask the right kinds of questions. For example, back in the 1600s, Francesco Redi, pictured here, was wondering why meat formed maggots when it was left out in the open air. People in that day thought it was due to spontaneous generation or a type of magic that caused the maggots to just appear. But Francesco asked whether it was a property of the meat or a cause of the meat being exposed to flies. He predicted that preventing flies from having direct contact with the meat would also prevent the appearance of maggots. Reddy left the meat in each of six containers pictured here. Two were in the open air. Two were sealed tightly and two were covered with gauze. His hypothesis was supported when maggots developed in the uncovered jars, but no maggots appeared in either the gauze-covered jars or the tightly sealed jars. He concluded that maggots could only form when flies were allowed to lay eggs in the meat, and that maggots were the offspring of flies, not a product of spontaneous generation. He asked the right questions. He then planned and carried out an investigation to provide evidence for an answer to his question. He analyzed and interpreted his data, and then using that data and evidence, he argued that there was no such thing as spontaneous generation. He then attempted to communicate his discoveries with the world. These are all um, science and engineering practices that you will learn more about in the next video and will engage in this year. But as I said, today we are focusing on asking questions. Scientists look at phenomenon and try to understand them. Phenomenon are observable events in the real world, like the maggots growing on meat. What observable events do you notice happening in the real world? How about COVID-19? What have you been observing about this phenomenon of COVID-19 occurring right around you right now. Watch this video that was made across the world in a country of Vietnam and think about why this video was made so far away from us. Now think about COVID-19 and your experience with it. What do you wonder about it? What questions do you have about COVID-19? Why is it being talked about all over the world and not just here in New Mexico? Pause the movie and think about questions you have and would like to know now and write them down. Now, I'd like you to think about this. Why do you think scientists need to understand COVID-19? Why are there different opinions about COVID-19? And how do we know what is true? What do you think? Pause the movie and write down a response to these questions. So I've been asking you to wonder about COVID-19. And there will be a lot of things you wonder about in class and in your life. To get the answers to your questions, you have to ask good questions. Your question has to address the phenomenon or the problem. So today, the phenomenon of COVID-19 is being talked about all over the world. Then, as scientists and critical thinkers, you identify the nature of the question. Is it, is it observational? What do you notice? Is it explanatory? How does it work? What systems are involved? Like with COVID-19, we have the system of the human body, the system of a city, the system of a country, or the system of the entire world. And what happens in the system? 
You could focus on any of those systems and ask what happens in the body, city, country, or world. And finally, can your question be empirically tested? Can direct or indirect observations or experiences answer the question? More specifically, when our questions target one of these cross-cutting concepts, we can develop a coherent and scientifically based view of the world. So this year we will practice asking questions that target each of these cross-cutting concepts. Let's practice with COVID-19 right now. A cross-cutting concept is patterns. Observed patterns of forms and events guide organization and classification, and they prompt questions about relationships and the factors that influence them. What are the parts? How does it change? And what stays the same? What is related? Stop the movie and write a question that relates to patterns and COVID-19. Is it a testable question? Another cross-cutting concept is cause and effect. This is about a mechanism and an explanation. Events have causes, sometimes simple, sometimes complicated. A major activity of science is investigating and explaining causal relationships and the mechanisms by which they are mediated. Such mechanisms can then be tested across given contexts and used to predict and explain events in new contexts. So how does it work? What is the cause and effect? What is the structure? What's the function? We can also, also ask about structure and function. The way in which an object or living thing is shaped and its substructure determine many of its properties and function. Pause the movie again and write down two questions. One for cause and effect and one for structure and function regarding COVID-19. And again reflect, are they testable questions? We can also ask about what is happening in a systems or system models, defining the system under study, specifying its boundaries and making explicit a model of that system provides tools for understanding and testing ideas that are applicable throughout science and engineering. Within the system in question, what are the flows and cycles? and conservation of energy and matter. Tracking fluxes of energy and matter into and out of and within the system helps one understand the system's possibilities and limitation. Another cross-cutting concept within systems and models is scale, proportion, and quantity. How are they connected? In considering the phenomena it is critical to recognize what is relevant at different measures of size, time, and energy, and to recognize how changes in scale, proportion, or quantity affect a system's structure and performance. Within systems and system models, another cross-cutting concept is stability and change. For natural and built systems alike, conditions of stability and determinants of rates of change or evolution of a system are critical elements of study. What keeps it stable? What is important to the system? Pause the movie and write four questions about COVID-19, one about systems, um, and one about energy and matter, one about scale and proportion, and one about stability and change. In science and in life in general, it's so important to stop and reflect on what we've learned from our different experiences. Watch this video clip and reflect on what you have learned from your experiences with COVID-19 this year. Take a moment and write something down that you've learned. Is there anything else that we've learned? Is there a relationship between race or socioeconomic status in COVID-19? And does that teach us anything else about our society? Take a few minutes to research the questions that interest you about COVID-19. What information did you learn? This ends the movie on an introduction to NGSS science and engineering practices and cross-cutting concepts. 
The slides were created by me, Dr. Nina Markham. Images are courtesy of Creative Commons unless otherwise indicated with a citation under the image. If all images on a slide are from the same source, the source is simply cited at the bottom of the slide. Thank you for listening.